All right, guys, we got this uh, new plunger door stop. Um, here's the original one. And you can see that the rubber is pretty wasted inside. Um, this is the new one from Vintage Trailer Supply. Here's your part number. And it was uh, 1375 so pretty good. And I got some more window discs, too, for another video. So... The thing's pretty close to the original. If I put one on top of the other, you can see that the holes, the mounting holes line up. It looks pretty good. Now, uh, the I did get the longer one. There was a, there were two different ones you could order, and I got the longer post here, and it still isn't as long as the original. So if this doesn't seem to work, I guess I could clean this post up and use the original post. I just needed, actually needed the rubber, and I could, if I wanted to, probably put this rubber into the original bracket, but we'll see. So, uh, let me get this thing assembled, and we'll get it mounted on the trailer. One thing that was noted on the website is how the rubber sticks out just a little bit past the mount or the body here and that you could trim it if you needed to so we'll see what happens when you mount it but I noticed that the, on the original one it did the same thing you can see that it's sticking out past so I can't see it being a huge deal but let's get it on the trailer and figure it out I picked up these uh, number 14 by inch and a half stainless screws which seem to fit pretty good inside of the countersink. So I pre-drilled the holes. Judging by the witness mark in the door, the male end was on the door and the female end was on the trailer. So let me drive a couple screws here. Got the male end installed, so I've got the female end here. So I'm going to put it on the male end because this is a new piece of siding. And I don't have my witness mark here any longer. So, what I'm going to do is open the door all the way. And then uh, take my Sharpie and get in here and mark this. Make sure that it's straight. good. I want to double check that these holes look like they're, or these marks are lined up with the holes. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to um, pre-drill these holes and then we'll get the screws driven. A little bit of that wood drill because these are pretty big screws. I'm going to I'm going to put some butyl tape in here, so I folded up a little piece of butyl tape. I'm just going to put it over the holes so that when uh, we tighten this down, it kind of seals any water from seeping into those screw holes. Should make it a lot better. And that crushed the rubber pretty good, so let's test this door out and see how it opens. Pretty good. So the big test will be when we get it out camping and see the kind of a wind it takes to close it. But you have to pull it pretty good to get it to come out of there. So I like it. All right, looks good. Thanks for watching.